May the Lord God bless you. Let us quickly read in the book of Psalms, chapter 55, from verse 1 to verse 9, and I will read in the book of Psalms also, uh, chapter 106. Let us read for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Hear my prayer, O oh God. Don't turn away from my plea. Listen to me and answer me. I am home helped by my worries. I'm terrified by the threats of my enemies. Crushed by the oppressions, oppression, oppression of the wicked. They bring trouble on me. They are angry with me and hate me. I am terrified and the terrors of death crutch, crutch me. I am gripped by fear and trembling. I am overcome with horror. I wish I had wings like a dove. I will fly away and find rest. I will fly far away and live in the wildness. Wilder, wilderness. Amen. Verse 8. I will quickly find myself a shelter from the ranging, ranging wind and the storm. Confuse the speech of my enemy, O oh Lord. Verse 9 is the last one, but we can continue it. We're going to read in the book of also 100, uh, and, uh, 160, some Psalms 160 years. Yeah. We're going to read some of the verse here. Let us start here. Give thanks to the Lord. Because it's good. His love is eternal. Who can tell all the great things he has done? Who can praise him enough? Enough? Amen. Happy are those who obey his commands. Who always do what is right. Remember me, Lord, when you help your people. Includes me when you save them. That is our prayer in the time we are living, my beloved brothers and sisters. We must pray it as this psalm started, as we read in the book of Psalm 55, to, from verse 1 to verse 9. Amen. Let, let me see the prosperity of your people and share in the happiness of your nation, in the glad proud of those who belong to you. We have sinned as our ancestors did. Listen our prayer the way we are reading it. We have been wicked and evil. Our ancestors in Egypt did not understand God's wonderful acts. They forgot the many times he showed them his love and they rebelled against the Almighty at the Red Sea. But he saved them as he had promised in order to show his great power. He gave a command to the Red Sea and it dried right up. He led his people across on dry land. He saved them from those who hated them. He rescued them from their enemies, but the water drowned their enemies. Not one of them was left. Then his people believed his promise and Sang, sang praise to him. But they quickly forget what he had done 
and hacked without waiting for his advice. They were filled with crying in the desert and put God to the test. So they gave them what they asked for, but also sent a terrible disaster among them. I think I did prepare 15 verse on my side, but you can continue it, continue it until verse 48 is so deep to understand what did happen on that time with the prophet Moses. Amen. Remember, as we said, God revealed his word, revealed himself by his servant prophet. We cannot see God when the Israel in the book of uh, in the Old Testament, they wanted to see God. Prophet Moses tell them, you have to prepare yourself three days. You have to sanctify all of you because you need to see God. Prophet, Prophet Moses, the one who was talking with God, remember, the prophet is not built like anyone. It's differently. What prophet? We're not talking about any prophet. No, the prophets are in the church. No. Those ones are they, 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 they're just the small gift God gave. How as they are going into the darkness to be able to, to read in the life of someone, but they are reading on the past. It's impossible to read on the future, to tell someone regarding the future. So when they start telling you the things that happened on the past, so you get scared. So from there, they will be able to get control on you and to tell you what to do. You see, all of those things psychologically, it depends on the will of a human being. To understand, because the denomination to dominion on, on a human being, everything depends on the will of that person. You see, if that person it have a good position of the scripture with him, it's difficult to get possession of his life and trying to tell him liars in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It will be there to understand exactly what you want to do, uh, who is a good preacher, who is come to preach the word of God regarding the perfect will of God revealed on the time we are living in. Or another one is coming with liars, mixed the truth with the Liars, you see, all of them is that that one build the kingdom of Satan. So we can see all of things is happening today here, as the Bible say, all of things is in this world. You see, but someone who stand on the scriptures, take position in Christ, it's difficult for you to come and take him just easily like this and put some doctrine wrongly inside of your wrong doctrine inside of him because it has a good position he stand on the scripture he knows what the scripture says and he is looking the will of god the perfect will of god in the time he is living so he will stand in christ regarding the promise god promised in the time we are living is we told you about luca luke 17 from verse 20 to verse 30. remember the prophet was telling us the right verse is verse 30. In the day the Son of Man will be revealed. And the Son of Man revealed because the Son of Man, remember, we tell you, is the supernatural and the natural. You see, it is the same things when the Lord Jesus Christ came in his first coming. You see, it was the Father with the Son who was Jesus Christ. But as long as he came as a lamb to give his life to save rich people, uh, the wrong people uh, we are, you see, God was in him. That's why he was always says to the people, all the things I'm doing, I'm not doing it by myself. Is my father is inside of me, him, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost is doing all this work you can see. You see, so the people who reject God who was in the temple could not understand the speech of the Lord. They was always coming and opposed with him, coming and asking the question that is can like a, a temptation regarding on what the Lord was say, uh, saying. So they, wa they wanted to, to always to come and asking the question away from what him was 
preaching to the people because himself he came to prepare us that's why he took that uh, what i can say this form of this way we are living in this world in this body do you understand he took this way he came this body this flesh to burn and die to save us, to show us you are able with this weak life by my powerful word, which is God himself created heaven and earth by this word, we can be saved to. Regarding on what the book of Romans chapter 8, verse uh, 11, 12, from verse 9, 11, 12, you can read there even 13, what the scripture says. If the spirit that rose Christ and the death dwell in you, is in you, it means the powerful God, the almighty God who rose Christ unto the death, we will able to rose you too, because this is a death. By the way we are listening, regarding on the promise of the time, we can be able, because the time we are living, the only things can save us if we will receive the revelation of Jesus Christ. Because we are living in the divine time. As we can see, the peoples are on another side. They are dealing with the devil, with their organization, satanics. You can see them, they didn't hide nothing. They took, they took decision and position completely. While us, we still in reasoning, reasoning with the word of God, thinking, Take you away. Doesn't have a position. Many people that just have highs on left, on the right. They have highs on the Greek people of churches, but they doesn't have highs on the way because you can have someone in front of you as a servant of God, but you have to take what he is saying, his life, and the things he's doing, doing regarding who is preaching you, regarding on what the prophet says, regarding on what the Christ, the Christian or believers or bride of Christ was waiting because the Bible says what the world was waiting, the world was waiting the manifestation of sons and daughters of God. And we are in the time we have to manifest it, the kingdom of God as them. They are manifesting the kingdom of Satan in this world. We can see it on every atmosphere. You see? Everywhere, in the theaters, in the movies, uh, uh, in WWE, you can see it on the politics, you can see it in the church even. You see, they took position and they doesn't hide the position them they did took. They, 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 they are showing it clearly like this. You see, nothing they are hiding it like uh, the way it was before. You see, it's visible to everyone. But which position you still have? Remember, we are here talking about, are you ready to be taken away? Are you ready for the rapture? So today we came to talk about the rapture. That's why we say we're supposed to take, to prepare some of the scripture. But to, we read in the book of Psalm 55, for you to understand what David, the prophet of God, the king, he was says regarding what his enemy was prepared, uh, pre being prepared for him. So he said, Lord, if I did have the wings uh, of uh, the wings of Adam, I can be able to fly and to go somewhere else where, where I can find peace, where I can get to refuge. Do you understand? Then I cannot live on such place because the enemy put many temptation on left and right in the front and at the back of me I could not live at the peace where must find this peace oh Lord if I did have the wings of Adam I can find a place that to refuge so that refuge where we can find it the only refuge we have is in Christ Jesus the same yesterday today and forever as David was crying to the Lord you see is the same things we see on what we just come to preach now and in another language, talking about the story, it was between the poor person and the rich person. As the Lord says in the book 
of Luke uh, 16. If you read from verse 19 till verse 34, you'll see what we are talking here. When two of them die, another one find it in that dimension with Father Abraham. And the Father Abraham was holding him he like this as a baby. But the rich man has rejected God because he did have many, uh, what I can say, money, influence, uh, popularity, workers, what, what. It been fine at here. And so here he was in trouble and in the fire. So he was crying to the father Abraham, you see, to say to the Lazar, if he can took only his finger, put inside of water and throw it down to him, in his tongue so he can refresh his body because it's too old men's women brothers and sisters think about that wonderful story that's an example on what happened the lord says to us can you imagine as the lord was saying that someone in that dimension of hell can communicate with someone is in that the dimension of rest of the saint as David, the place who was pleaded the Lord to go and find peace is this place. Is the baptism of Holy Ghost. You see, after you be born again, you getting in the march as this song of Holy Spirit is saying, we are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We are marching up to Zion. Beautiful city of God. We are marching. Remember of that song. You see? So you get inside of this march. Marching with the scripture day by day. As the Lord says, the faith doesn't come in anything. Not with something that is came with the influence of great people who that who have great names, but that faith came on what you are listening. Do you understand? Because this is a great door. The door of your soul is this here. The music you are listening, the song you are singing, is came from which dimension? Because we have. All dimension is here. The fifth dimension is the hell where, where the rich man was. And last are the poor man who was always in his door asking the food because he was a sickness person and that guy w was just leaving him to take the things was felt under his table. And sometimes as he was sick with the the the, 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 what, the, the plasks, the dogs of this rich man was coming and can you imagine what was happening to him? So, as he was sick and it passed away, and the rich man also passed away, two of them, they been found it in the different dimension. The rich man been found it down here in the hell, and it was in the difficult, very bad, badly situation, and the hell in the fire. Don't understand? But the poor man, as it was believed, he was believed in God, he put his trust in God, he was praying God, he was always been going to the church. But God sometimes leaves us in such condition for us manifested in greatness that been happened in the life of that uh, poor man. He been found it here with the father Lazar. And this rich man was here, he did even plead Father Abraham to send Lazar to go and preach his brothers and sisters. To do not come in this place, he me did find it. That's why we came here to prepare you, brothers and sisters. Women and men, are you ready to be taken away? When this difficult time will occur, will come. So how we can be taken away? Because we must be prepared now. So the Lord cannot force anyone. Remember what we made as a mistake by the law of representation in the Garden of Eden. When they fail, they're supposed to recognize their wrong, to go and say, Lord, forgive, that I did is wrong. Because I listened to the serpent, I listened to the enemy. The enemy brought the word of God because Satan cannot do 
something without the took that came from the creator because we have only one creator if you go to the uh, freemason people you will see they have also their pyramid the pyramid they have is different with this pyramid remember here we put this star is in the flag of israel the flag of the uh, what well, i can say the star of david he represented christ in his second coming but is not just the star but it's but is this triangle, you see, on the top that is uh, represented the star, uh, the stone, who the people were uh, built the temple, rejected as it's written in the scriptures here, that is a stone being rejected toward Jesus Christ. So remember when even in Egypt there was built this pyramid of Egypt, they didn't put this head. If you see it in the dollar, those American people, they took what God did with the literacy, those when they started with the banks, you see, with the system you build with the banks, for them to be able to lead the worldwide, this world, by the banks. That is happening with the money, because devil is the hand of controlling money. Those organizations, for them to control the money, they took their pyramid they put with one eyes here they say the eyes of see everything where we can find that eyes we have it here with this pyramid of 13 stairs you see but remember here we have only seven stairs you see eight is the eternity the lord jesus christ to return back home in the kingdom of god where we've been before we came here born and seen as david says in the book of 51. Remember, you see, so for us to be prepared to avoid this place, then they didn't hide it today. They can put everything hold what can see. Remember what happened in the ceremony of uh, Olympic Games in France, in Paris. You see, horrible things happened there, visible here, even the kids was there. To abomination things because this that president did promise to the people these things will happen so as Christian which position are you taking until today why did you stand with the scripture where did you stand with the will of God are you ready to be taken away when the anger of God will hit this world remember the example the Lord Jesus Christ came gave to us in the book of Luke 17. I don't know if we can read it as we're still talking about this predication of to be, are you ready to be taken away, to be prepared ourselves to be candidate of rapture. You see? Because that rapture is not something you can wait on it while you don't have it inside of you. Because before you travel to go to America, if you want to travel to go home, let me give one an example. You are leaving Pretoria or you are leaving Pulwani. You want to travel to Durban. You must have ticket. You must buy a ticket. That ticket is the only thing that will allow you to get inside of the bus or to get a plane, you see, to take Mango or British Airways. I don't know. Any flight you will choose for you to travel to go to Durban. Oh, I want to go to Eastern Cape to visit my family. I want to go home. I just don't know. I want to go to Italy. You must have a ticket. You have to book your ticket. It's the same things if that country, you are not going to that country without visa. It's not a free, free visa country for you. What are you supposed to do? You must apply for the visa. There is application visa. All of these rules the people put for you to get a visa, for you to travel in their country, you have to go to their embassy. It's the same things with the kingdom of God. You have to prepare yourself. You see, they will ask you, no, you have to bring your bank statement. You have to prepare the letter of your leave. If you are going for the tourism, you have to give a uh, found to show us you are going to visit, you have to book your hotel, travel assurance, all of those things, they are asking to you if the same things with the kingdom of God as those ones are going to the another side of down, or them also, they, they have rules for them to be able to do their trips 
you see, of traveling from here to come to that side, all of these to do those dimensions to come to domain, to domain here, to domain the people inside of the big churches. They have rules, they respect, they have sacrifice they are giving. But us, we do have only sacrifice. It didn't, didn't come from us. The Lord himself, as he wanted to testimony, this gospel is the right one, is the good and the perfect gospel of Christ, the message of end time. The Lord himself gave his own life as a sacrifice, as we read in the book you see, of Peter here, 1 Peter chapter 3, from verse one, from verse 8 until verse 19, I think, if I didn't forget, uh, as we read it in French. But you see what we read in the book of uh, 106 of Psalms, we see how the Lord himself many times he was doing good for them, but just they passed the, the Red Sea, they forget what the Lord did for them. That's happened with many Christians. But you, if you ask, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Uh, I'll be born again. My pastor, his name is, or, uh, our congregation name is this, this, and uh, uh, this, this. No, I'm not asking you about the name of your pastor. I didn't ask you about your, the name of your congregation or of your church or assembly, no. I want to know, are you born in kingdom of God? Did you get a new birth certificate? That is meaning you are ready to be taken away or you still uh, just a baby uh, believer in the church. As we see the pastors that, that, that keep the people being babies in the church today so they can have control on them. That is not the condition of a real Christian. A real Christian must take position in God's word. To that extent, that's why I wanted to read this book of Luke. 17, so you understand how to prepare yourself for to be taken away. It's not something for you to wait, but you have to prepare like someone who wants to travel to Europe, you see, and our book doesn't go there without visa. So we have to prepare all those documents they been gave us as, uh, what I can, what I can say, uh, document we have to prepare so we can build our file uh, to proceed on our uh, application that we can attach it with our application and uh, introduce that to the embassy for you to be able to get a visa and travel you see on it you'll find there is ticket inside that ticket of airplane will take you from here until here do you understand but then they're taking and they're going here and they need sacrifice every time because they reject the blood of Jesus Christ, which is the only sacrifice, as the Apostle Peter says in the book of 1 Peter verse uh, 3 there. Christ died inside in, in one time and he gave in life to come and save. Do you understand? So it's differently with them. So, but when you, your testimony, did you control your position since you've been there? trying to speak in yourself and testimony when you get questions from someone, I'll be born again in Christ. My pastor is this, my church is this. Are you ready to be taken away if the time arrives today? Because the death also is the time like the end of the world for you. Are you ready if something happened to you now by sickness or something else can take you so you'll be able to be reached here? to be founded here on the most high place? Are you just testimony God because you hear it from your pastor, from your friend, from someone on the street, on the TV, or is it in an experience life in you? That is a question you have to ask one another. Let us read this scripture so we can stop and continue where we can talk deeply how we can avoid this time badly we are living and to prepare ourselves for the rapture. You see, the question it was, are you ready to be taken away? So now, next Sunday we'll talk, are you already taken away? You see?
that it was to be by now are you already taken away you mean are you already enraptured meaning if that time arrived you go like enoch because we are living on the seventh church do you understand the first one started with apostle paul here you see and we see all of them remember on the predication we put in youtube we put that this one in english so all the messengers came the seven words was prophet brother he came with the message of end time and the, the all the, the, the uh, all the mysteries of god being sealed from genesis to uh, revelation being broken from the revelation chapter 10 the scripture promise in the time you are living and that time when it fulfilled it was not to keep the christian here you see they've been taken away they went to rapture as enoch in the book of genesis be taken away but noah passed in the tribulation as many people will pass in the tribulation but passing in the tribulation you have to to face what the judgment this a space is between third dimension and the sixth dimension. The rest of dimension here from third until five was down here is the time. From here you are already out of time. But how you will be you will be able to pass this space of judgment if you are not you didn't born again in kingdom God if you didn't receive the baptism of Holy Ghost? Ask the question yourself. Because if you born again and you follow this way of Christ and listening the word, preaching in the spirit and the truth, you see, passing the first steps of justification, the second one, sanctification by the word you are listening, and the third steps is the baptism of Holy Ghost. So you are already here. So when your time arrived, you have nothing. We can stop you. Directly you'll be found here like this poor man with Father Abraham. Do you understand now? Let us read and finish. We'll continue next Sunday. So we're going to read some of the book in Revelation. So we'll understand exactly what the Lord did already. It's like the table is there. They put the food already with your mother. Remember our father, uh, our heavenly father. He represented himself in front of our father Abraham as a mother eagle. You see, say, Abraham, sit, I will take care of you like a baby in the hand of mother. You see, the Lord God is a mother eagle who is came looking for his sons and daughter. But you hear the sound, the voice of your mother eagle, you turn your face away for the things of this world. You want sometimes to mix God with the things of the world. You have to take the position. You see, if God, God, if world, world, the reason why us, we reject all of those things to stand only with him. Let us read in the book of 17, from verse 20 to verse 30. So we continue next Sunday by the mercy of God. May the Lord God bless you. We are reading some Pharisees. Asked Jesus where the king or the kingdom of God will come. His answer, his answer was, the kingdom of God does not come in such way as to be seen. You see, come here, we'll do the miracle. Come here, we have one week of seminary. God will do the great things here. Come here, we'll see this now. That is not the way God calls people. No, that's not the way. You'll see this. Come here. There's a great prophecy. A prophet came from Nigeria. A great prophet came from uh, Italy. A great prophet came from uh, whatever country. I don't know. Congo, Brazzaville, or uh, uh, Gabon. You see? No, it's not like that. The Lord said no. It's not by miracle, by the word. Because he was preaching this way, the way as we are coming to preach to you, share the link. Let us save one another to be ready for the rapture. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 21. No one will, will say, look, here it is, or there it is. Because the kingdom of God is 
within you. It means between you. Uh, but we think the kingdom of our God is in heaven, in most high place. But how the Lord can say amongst you, it means it was him, the word. Because he didn't give to the people wrong interpretation regarding on what the prophet says about his coming. You see, that's why I say the kingdom of God, God the kingdom of God is among you. It's between you, him, the kingdom of God. Because he came from the father, he came to represent it. Father, he go back to the father. That's why I say me and father, we are one. And us with him, we have become one. The mystery of divinity of Jesus Christ in the time we are living. The reason why the seal uh, being broken is an example of men and women when they get married, the woman must get the name of his her husband. You see, if she didn't take the name of her husband until there, it means there is just like this. But if he took that name, is an example between Christian and the Lord Jesus Christ, we must take his name and to become Christ. That's why it says in the book of Matthew chapter 24, from verse 15 until uh, verse 31, you will read the Lord 25. The Lord says, in that time, in the hand time, you will see the fake Christ and the wrong of Christ with fake anointment. They will come and took the people away on their wrong doctrines. You see, but us, we're going to recognize them. Why the Lord we gonna says we're going to recognize them? Because we will stand with the scriptures. We will read what the scripture promised regarding the time as we are living. Do you understand? Let us continue on what we are reading here. Amen. May the Lord God bless you for your time. Then he said to them, that, to, to the disciple, the time will come when you will which. We will, you will wish to we will wish you could see one of the day of the son of man him hallelujah but you will not see it there will be those who will say to you look over there or look over here but don't go out looking for it what we are saying there come here you will have this Come here, we're going to prophesy for you. Come here, we'll see the miracle of the Lord. The Lord said, don't go there. Because the miracle cannot come without preaching this word correctly. The devil starts with the Lord wrongly. Do you understand? He took the truth and he changed the form. He gave the wrong interpretation of the scriptures and the death took place. You see, but before, there was no dying. Let us continue what the Lord says to us. He said, don't go, the Lord advised us out looking for it. As the lightning flashed across the sky and lights it up from one side to another side, it means came from east to west, you see, where the Lord revealed when the seals been broken. You see, let us continue. Amen. So will Son of Man be in his day, but the first must suffer much and be rejected by the people of this day happened. The time when he came. Amen. As is it was in the time of Noah, so shall it be in the day of the Son of Man. The time of Noah, what happened? The people of science, they did have the deeply, you see, acknowledge of science. They was doing the things like we can see the plane today, A308, you see, with the stairs inside, we can see many cars, you see, the new Ranger, the new, uh, what I can say, Land Cruiser Toyota with the many options he, you can see the car can talk. All of those things. The Lord gave an example. The, 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 the way it was in the time of Noah. Let us read quickly because of our time. Amen. It 
the Noah shall it be in the day of son of man. Everybody keeps on eating and drinking and men and women married up to the very um, up to the very day Noah went into the boat and the flood came and killed them all. Oh Lord. It will be as it was in the time of Lord. Everybody keeps on eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. On the day Lord left Sodom, fire and sulfur raised, risen, risen, amen, down from heaven, amen, and killed all, killed them all. That is how it will be on the day of Son of Man is revealed. Is the time we are living. The Lord came in the time of reveal, the time of revelation. If you read in the book of Revelation, on just in the first chapter, the first verse is say, the revelation of Jesus Christ by his servant prophet John. You see. May the Lord God bless you as a came. Firstly, said the son of man, because the supernatural was inside of him natural, but he came as a lamb. But that day in the book of Psalm 22, he cried, oh, what on the, on the cross, he said, Father, Father, how are you leaving me? Because Father as a spirit gone, and the body stays there as a lamb. As we said in the book of Romans chapter 8, but in the time we are living, he came, he took the body of his bride, prophet. You see, he came as a supernatural and prophet and a natural. So he dwelled not only to the prophet, but all of us can listen to this word being revealed as God revealed his secret to his seven prophets. You see, next Sunday, may the Lord God bless you. Stay with the peace of the Lord. Have a wonderful next week with this wonderful month of August. Let most best things happen in our life as we are praying and believe in God who keeps us safe by his mercy. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, God bless you. Shalom.